Persuade my audience, U.S. residents and citizens, that medical marijuana should be legalized in all 50 states. I am going to share with you facts that prove medical marijuana has more benefits than it is harmful. Throughout the ages, medicine has significantly progressed, especially plant medicine. With the use of natural earthly substances such as mold and fungus, scientists have been able to find cures for things such as ear infections, scarlet fever, and strep throat. Unfortunately, mold and fungus cannot prevent the pain and symptoms that come with mental illnesses like anxiety and post-traumatic stress disorder, or with chronic illnesses like Parkinson's disease, constant nausea, post-chemo cancer treatments, or insomnia. Although some doctors and scientists would rather not use medical marijuana as a form of pain relief, I have done research on the pros and cons of the use of medical marijuana and how the cons can be avoided. I've also done research on specific chronic illnesses and how marijuana has positively affected the patients. The use of medical marijuana has been researched by scientists for over many decades, and while some states allow the use for medical purposes, others do not. Medical marijuana has an abundance of helpful effects that will provide pain relief to chronic illness patients. According to Peter Grinspoon's Harvard Health Publishing article updated in September 2019 about marijuana medical components, the two main strains of marijuana used for medicinal purposes are sativa and indica, with indica making patients feel mellow and reduces their pain, and sativa boosting their energy levels, mood, and creativity. According to the Diesel website, updated in November 2021, a map of le marijuana legality by state, there are 12 states in the U.S. that do not allow the use of medical marijuana. These states should consider allowing patients to use marijuana as a supplement drug opposed to other pain relief medications. A few examples of states that prohibit the use of medical marijuana are Indiana, North Carolina, Tennessee, and Wyoming, with both Indiana and Tennessee only allowing the use of CBD oil. The other 38 states allow the use of medical marijuana. The use of medical marijuana can help cancer patients undergoing chemotherapy by stimulating their appetites, alleviating the symptoms of nausea and fatigue, and mask the physical pain caused by the radiation used to treat their cancer. Many patients have noticed a difference in their emotional and physical state while using cannabis for medicinal reasons. The feeling of intoxication cancels out the feeling of sickness and allows medical patients to regain some joy in their lives and function without being reminded of the pain their terminal illnesses cause them. With the use of medical marijuana, patients who have been diagnosed with post-traumatic stress disorder are able to function publicly and privately without the feeling of anxiety or fear. Both main strains of medical marijuana can help PTSD patients live a more normal lifestyle. Patients with Parkinson's disease can also benefit from the use of medical marijuana because it will slow down their cognitive nerve, which slows their tics down, as well as numbs the pain from muscle stiffness. According to Shannon Scott's research on the effectiveness of cannabis for insomnia patients, updated in early 2021, medical marijuana can be used as a sleep aid for those who have trouble falling and staying asleep. Some scientists are fearful of lung disease and upper respiratory infections in patients when using medical marijuana, but with smoke-free options such as, but not limited to, edibles, cannabis pills, oils, lotions, transdermal patches, and in even some cases, vapes, marijuana can be consumed without its negative effects on your lungs if consumed by smoke inhalation. Another reason some scientists fear the use of medical marijuana is because of the psychological effects it can have, concerns for effects like visions and lost perception of time. However, when medical marijuana is used for actual medical purposes, such as canceling out pain from chronic illnesses, such as cancer, chronic headaches, Parkinson's disease, and insomnia, or used to stimulate appetites in these types of patients, they don't experience a quote-unquote high as if they were using marijuana like a street drug. Another way the U.S. can benefit from legalizing medical marijuana within all 50 states is because it's not addicting. So many people die annually from substance abuse from things such as opioids and other addictive prescription medications that can be lethal if abused. In fact, in 2020 alone, the number of deaths caused by drug overdoses is greater than 70,000. If non-addicting substances were made available within all 50 states, many deaths could be avoided. Because marijuana has no addictive chemicals, patients will not have to be weaned off of it. With that, if cancer patients have beaten cancer or if someone with insomnia is finally able to sleep without any use of a sleep aid and they no longer need to use marijuana, they can stop using it without the feeling of withdrawal. 
Many, if not all, chronic illness patients who used to live herbally would appreciate the choice of an all-natural pain relief substance, opposed to synthetic or man-made prescriptions. If all 50 states legalized the use of medical marijuana, every herbalist would have this option to use medical marijuana as a... In conclusion, with the growth of new ways to avoid the risks and with new smoke-free options to consume medical marijuana, medical marijuana can cause more positive effects than the cons can cause negative. Medical marijuana should be legalized and made available throughout all 50 U.S. states to all chronic illness patients because it can help them significantly. Thank you.